Importance of Being Earnest is a play in three parts set in England in the 1890s that opens in Algernon Moncrief's flat. In the introduction, Algernon is playing the piano while his servant, Lane, prepares to host Algernon's aunt, Augusta, for tea. Algernon's friend, Jack Worthing, who has a double identity as Ernest, enters. Algernon says Ernest must leave because he flirts with Gwendolyn, his cousin and aunt's daughter. Jack says he plans to propose to Gwendolyn, but Algernon refuses to give his consent until Ernest resolves the issue of who Cecily is. Jack, under pressure, explains that Cecily is his ward and admits he maintains two identities, Ernest when he's in town and Jack when he's in the country. Worthing's dual identity parallels Algernon's habit of using his imaginary invalid friend Bunbury as an excuse to avoid social obligations. Lady Bracknell, Algernon's Aunt Augusta, and her daughter Gwendolyn arrive. In the rising action, once Ernest and Gwendolyn are alone, Ernest proposes. Gwendolyn accepts. When Lady Bracknell returns, she quizzes Jack to determine his suitability as a husband. Realizing he was adopted as a baby and has no direct family, Lady Bracknell rejects the so-called Ernest. Later, Jack's ward, <laughs> Cecily, is studying with her governess, Miss Prism, at Jack's country home. When Cecily is alone, Algernon arrives, pretending to be Jack's brother, Ernest. The two flirt. When Jack Worthing arrives, he says his brother Ernest has died and asks Dr. <gasps> Chasuble to christen him. But Cecily comes out of the house and informs Jack that his brother is there. When Jack says he doesn't have a brother, Cecily returns with Ernest. Jack agrees to change his mourning clothes to get Algernon to leave. When he does, Cecily returns and Ernest proposes. Cecily accepts and informs him they've already been engaged for months and that she decided this without having met him. She also informs him she's <laughs> always had a dream of marrying someone named Ernest. Both men now plan to be rechristened as Ernest. Gwendolyn enters. The two women discover they are both engaged to marry Ernest Worthing and argue until the men return. The women are offended to learn they've been lied to and neither is engaged to a man named Ernest. They storm off into the house angrily. When the two men are left alone to try to come up with a plan to save their engagements, the men try to explain themselves. Lady Bracknell re-enters. When she learns Cecily is wealthy, she approves of the marriage to Algernon, but Jack withholds his consent. Lady Bracknell recognizes the name Miss Prism midst the hubbub. In the play's climax, Miss Prism enters, and Lady Bracknell interrogates her about an event that happened 28 years ago. Miss Prism accidentally left a baby for whom she was responsible in a handbag in a railway station. During the falling action, Miss Prism identifies Jack as the baby she inadvertently abandoned to everyone's shock. Lady Bracknell explains that the baby Miss Prism was caring for belonged to her sister, and Jack is revealed as Algernon's older brother. In the play's resolution, Jack learns his real name has been Ernest all along, and he can marry Gwendolyn.